Please, if um, you are using. I let's by now let's let's continue our class, so you can um, chat up your your colleagues and um, discuss with them accordingly. So, well, it's good that we are engaging ourselves. If you're having any issues, you can just um, send a DM or reach out to the person that um, probably you are using the same devices so that they can share with you uh, whatever we they are um, work through that they are using so that um, we can proceed with that. So quickly, without wasting time, uh, by now, I believe that um, you have done, we have all downloaded our, our zip file, we have unzipped it. And once you have done that, once you have done that, let me share my screen so that um, we can uh, proceed. All right, so. Okay. So um, once you have unzipped your, the zip file I shared with you, I told you that you should have a folder that will have three components uh, within it. That is the HTML, the index.html, which is the main file that we want to edit. Of course, there are other, um, there are other you know, elements, there are other components within this file. Uh, you have CSS, um, probably JavaScript is there, but for now, for this particular time now, we just want to limit ourselves with the HTML. And the reason why I'm just starting off with the template with you is that nobody wants to reinvent the wheel. There's nobody that will tell you that um, you should start work on a project and you should build up your HTML from scratch, except if you are doing a customized stuff. As it, but most projects you have, you start off with a template or with a particular, um, with, a, with a default, um, uh, what's it called, template or a default um, landing page that is already existing or you're editing uh, an existing um, landing page to continue the project. That's why I'm just starting off with you. I know this is bootstrap, but uh, just look at the component of the HTML there and then we can proceed uh, with that. So once you have this uh, unzipped, that is zip file unzipped, I am working on my, on my laptop so of course, I'm going to be using uh, Notepad++. Uh, I'm going to be using Notepad. So once I right click, I can either right click on the file, that is the HTML, the index.html file. Right click on the index.html file if you are working on your, on your desktop. Even if you are working on your mobiles, you can right click and open with. Most of our mobiles, we have the option to open with. So right click on the index.html file, open with, then you select uh, the editor that you have used. For me, yeah, I want to use edit with notepad++. Edit with, you can see this, I right click on this, right click on this, and it says edit with notepad++. So once I click on this, it opened up, it opens up the, web file, the web uh, file with notepad++, with notepad++. I, let me get feedback. Can we all see this? Can you all see my screen? Let me just get the feedback. Uh, you can unmute yourself and just, or just chat up and tell me that uh, you can. I just want to get the feedback so that I can continue, knowing that you can see what I'm doing. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm sharing my screen currently. So if you can't see, probably you need to just log out and log in again to see whether you can see or you, you need to look at the settings of your, you can't see that. Okay, let me stop sharing and then share. Oh, somebody said yes. Oh, I will stop sharing. I've stopped sharing there. Let me just reshare all over again. I'm sharing all over again. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Let me share. Uh, okay, no. Let me just share everything. All right. So, can you see now? 
Please confirm. Can you all see? Can you see my screen? Please confirm. Can you all see the screen? Yes, yes, yes. All right, all right, all right. You can all see the screen. Please, those people are notating and uh, writing rubbish. Um, I just want you to just stop that. So. All right. Okay. So, uh, with this, um, yeah, then, um, like I said, now look at this now. Let me, okay, yeah, so you are fine. Now, you can see this is the HTML uh, document, which is starting with what? With the word, with the document type tag. And if you notice, when I shared with you the, the different um, tags that are available, I told you that with the document type, the doc types, if you click on it, it will even take you to um, the specific uh, page talking about the doctor. But you can look at it. It says it defines the document type. You can see this is it defines the document type. It is a declaration uh, uh, on the HTML document to tell you that this particular document is an HTML document. That is a declaration that you have there. And once you look at this here, you can see this is declared first. That is doc type HTML. That is the document type is HTML. Of course, followed by that, you have the word the HTML uh, language equals to what EN, EN for English. Like, and I told you at the last class that this is very notable, especially when you are working with sites and uh, you have a situation whereby um, somebody that is not English speaking wants to access your site. Once you have this defined, it's easier. It's um, Google Translator can translate your site from English to whichever language your user wants to view it. That is why these things are very important. Of course, you are doing digital marketing. You don't know who your client, you don't know the client or the country your, cli your clients are going to come from. So it's advisable that once you are setting up your one page website, ensure that you put in this tag as well, the, your language tag is very, very important as well. Now, shortly after this, you have your head. Now, let me go back to this and show you something. Let me show you something. I, I hope, it, aha, very good. Now, I want you to look at this. I believe you can see my screen. This is the HTML page structure. This is the HTML page structure. I hope you can see this. I have so yeah, very good. Now this is the HMP for some of you that were conf, uh, that were you know confused how you are supposed to put in your tag. Number one, the first help is that you understand the HMLP structure, which I've just shown you and I'm going to do a little um explanation on this. Then the second one is that the kind or the type of Editor, HTML editor you are using will also be helpful. Some of these editors that I, I know I, I'm advising you to use, uh, they, they have intelligence such that once you start writing with a particular tag, once you start with an open tag, you start with the open tag, automatically some of these editors, they will close up the tag automatically for you. Meaning that what if you start writing, if you start up with your HTML tag, Let's say you start off with the HTML tag, you put your language there, it was English, automatically the HTML editor would have ended, would have included this ending tag automatically in your code. So meaning that what once you start up, you don't need to think about where do I put the closing tag. Automatically the intelligence or the intuitiveness of the editor will just add up the closing tag, and it will add it up in the right place where it's supposed to be added. So, you know, some of you are confused. So, if you don't know, you may just use an editor that can help you, but it is also necessary, it's important for you as a website designer to know the HTML page structure. These are just basic structure. 
and I can just go through it. Of course, you look at it. Apart from your dog type, apart from your dog type, which is up here, the next tag that you have on your HTML file is your HTML tag. This is a tag. You can see it here. This is a tag. Is your HTML tag. If I close up this, can you see? This is my, I'm using Notepad++. Plus Plus. I have just eaten all the other things in between. You can see, once you have your opening tag of your HTML, the closing tag comes automatically. Meaning that, if, let's go back, let me show you here. Now, once you are here, meaning that once you start up with your HTML tag, the closing tag is at the end, the last end of everything you are writing on that file. As you can see, this is starting with HTML. You can see there's no other thing after HTML. Every other thing that we have on this web file is in between the starting tag of HTML and the closing tag of HTML. I, I hope that is clear. And let's just quickly look at the structure once again. Now we have the HTML starting tag and it closes. You can see everything else is what is in between the HTML tag. Now, what are the things that are in between the HTML tag? Basically, you have two major components or two major uh, sections between the HTML tag, two major that you need to know now. The first one is what the edge. You can see there's a section that borders everything. You can see, I, I love the way this is. That's why I just wanted to show you. Everything is bordered on this. Meaning that what you have the edge section, that is the first big box. The second big box that you have is what is the body section. Meaning that within the HTML tag, there are two major sections that exist, the head session and the body session. For the head session, you have your head tag, which is here. And of course, once you start up with the head tag, you close. Now you, by now you would have observed how the opening tag and closing tag is written. Like I told you at the last class, you start up with your uh, braces, something that look like uh, greater than or less than. You have your tag, the name of your tag. And for the ending, you have your forward uh, stroke uh, with the name of the tag and you end it. So for the head, you have the head. Everything in between the head is this, which is the title. The title page accordingly is the year. And for the body, which is the second major section within the HTML tag, you have the body. And of course, what is within the body? You have every other component that are available. All these tags that are available, they can comfortably fit in into your body tag. But of course, you know your head tag will belong to the head. Your title tag will belong to inside your head. I hope this is simple enough for you to know. Just look at this structure and just be, once you understand the structure, that the big, uh, big body is the HTML tag, apart from your doc type, the next two sections is your edge, the next one is your body. I hope that is clear enough. Is that clear? Fine. So uh, that being said, let's go back to our, so I can expand my HTML code again. Feedback. Yes, good, good, good. So let's expand our HTML code. So like I said, there are several other uh, component that are there, but for now we just want to limit ourselves with the HTML file. But of course, let me just quickly talk about this. Now you have your head tag, which is here. You can see this head tag is here, and I can just you can see. Let me just. Of course, this is very clear enough. You can see this is a body tag. This is head tag. Now for the head tag, let's look at the head tag. This is everything in between the head. Can you see this? I have just limited everything. This is everything in between the, in between the head. Now. You can see this is meta. These are used for metadata. If you go to, let's go to our annotation once again. Let me set for meta. Now you can see, it says it defines the metadata about an element. Of course, if you want to read further, you can click on this and read further about it. What are the metadata of an element? Now, this particular session for you to be as a digital marketer, it is very, very important. 
Of course, as a website designer, it's very important, but you know, some people are very lazy. They will just think that, oh, all this one is just story. It's not story, it's very important. Because of course, once a uh, website has been crawled, uh, these are very, very important you know, you know, parameters that uh, the crawler is going to look at. Apart from that too, there are several um, uh, site archivers. These are some information that they will look at to archive your site so that years later you can come back and check and see the different versions as the case may be. So what are, what are the things that you have the chart set, you can always check this just like a character set, which character types are you using? Of course it is defined. You can look this up. You have the name, the metadata name, you have the viewpoint, you have the device telling you that if you are using a, um, a, a laptop, how should it display your site? If you are using a desktop, uh, sorry, a, a, a phone, how should it display? So all these things are very, very important. So of course, once you go come back here, come back here to this place, you can click on this meta. And of course, you can look at several things um, defined that regards your, your metadata. You can see all these things are there, which you can look at and um, it can really help you. Just look to it, try your hands on uh, one or two of them, see the examples that have been made. Now, once you are back here, you can see it is one of the, the description of the site. That this site is what I said, the first website of ENT is a description of the site. Uh, who is the author? The author is what I put my name there, right? And of course, he's asking me, there's a link you know, for my CSS, for my stash and all that, which is very flexible for now. Just leave what you have on the uh, HTML file as it is. When, once we get to this um, level, we'll, we'll then explain this. So for now, let's just put this as it is. Let's leave this as it is. Of course, you can edit your description. You can put in your author, your name as the author. Now, the next one that we, I want to call your attention to is the title. And if you remember, I showed you the other time that um, your title is what is in between your head. You can see the title tag is in between what? Your head, which is what we have here as well. And I call the title of my own page, I call it Legedis. I think that's the name of one of the business that one of you um, said is doing. So let's call our business name. So of course, everybody will put their own business name here. Everybody by now uh, shared um, some sheet with you to, to, to guide you on crafting uh, your brand uh, details. So by now you should have a brand name, you should have a title, you should have your title should be your brand name. So for this example, I'm using Legedis. And of course, like I said, it's just leave all this one, the CSL references and all that, just leave it as it is for now. So these are the things, this is a major thing that you have in your edge. At least for the title, you have the author in the description as the case may be. So I believe this is clear for the edge. Let me get feedback before I move on. For the edge, is this clear? You can just chat, you can just chat me if it is clear, yes. Fine, 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 beautiful. So now this is it. Now let me just ash out my head. You can see the kind of editor I'm using is allowing me to you know, compress each of the different sections so that we can see uh, each session in the right perspective. So that we can see each session in the right perspective. So I have eaten my head again. Let me open my body. Now, you have the start tag, the beginning tag of your body. It says body. Now it has put the class so for now just ignore this. You can just see this is starting tag and this is what the closing tag of my body. So every other thing, just like I explained here in the structure, every other thing is what is in between your body. Let's go back here. So let me expand what is in between our body or your body and see what is here. So you can see these are the all these are all the different uh, information, the different elements, different tags that we have in between our body. Now this is it. Of course, maybe before I, I talk about the body, let me just quickly show you the implication of this edge. Let me show you the implication of this edge. Now, this particular edge, let me come here. Now, oh, I need to get this to hide. Okay, fine. So 
Once I run this particular file, now if I open all this file, for some of you that don't know how to open this file, let me show you. You just go to your HTML file. Now, you know, the other time I said, I right clicked and I click on edit with Notepad++. Now for you to open up your file on with your browser, for you to display this HTML file with your browser, if by default, uh, some of your devices are not set that any anytime you have HTML file, you should now please once you are editing don't forget don't remove this extension once you remove this extension your file it may be very it will be very difficult for you to display your file with um the web browser so make sure you have this extension there dot html index dot html don't remove it very very important now for you to open it up uh with your web browser if you don't have your web browser automatically set to open HTML file. You can just right click that HTML file again. That is go to your HTML, index or HTML file, right click it, and you go to open with. You have open with. So here I have open with, you have different applications on my laptop saying I can open with. Of course, I can pick any of the browsers. Just pick one of the browsers you are using. Click on this, it will open up the, the web browser and display it like this now. By default, what I send to you, if you open it up, you should have something like this. By default, everybody should have something like this. By default. Now, what I wanted to show you is that the implication of this, now look at this now, this title that we have included, being like this. The implication is that whatever you put here becomes the title of your, look at it now. This becomes the title. Once I put my cursor. I put my cursor on the tab. What did it bring out? It brought out the title of my web page. This is the what? This is the title. Exactly. This is the title of my web page. Please don't uh, mistake this for this. Do you get it? Don't mistake this title for this. Don't mistake it for, for that. I hope that is very clear. Fine. So now let's go into our body. Now that we have seen our head, we have seen the implication of our head. Let's go into the body. Now we are on, on the body currently now. I have opened up our body. And of course, like I said, I just want to point your attention to the HTML tags that are here. Fine. Of course, you have this, you can see. This is what, what is this code? What do you have here? Can somebody type in the comment section, what is it called? What the, the thing I just highlighted now, the tag I just highlighted, what's the code? Let me highlight it again. What is the code? What is the code? All right, yes, yes. That is a comment. It is called a comment. It is called a comment, beautiful. So, meaning that what, I am putting a comment that whatever tag I'm having here is a wrapper. This comment here is what, is a wrapper. And the, com the wrapper is defined as what, as a div. Now you can ask, what is a div? Let's go and check. What is a div? Let's come back to our. What is a div? Now, what what does what do you have here? It says it defines a section in a HTML document. It defines a section in HTML document. You can see, can say this section in the blah 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 blah. Now he's telling you. Now let's let's even let's check. It says a div tag defines a division, a section in HTML document. Of course, whether CSS, whatever the case may be. Let's let's check back here. Let's check back here. Let's go back to our code and check to see 
Once I click on div here, it highlighted all the divs. You can see these are the different sections that I have. You can see how this uh, editor, you know, arranged my code you now very neat and uh, it's very readable. You can see the different sections, and it has been uh, it has been sectionalized, or I have used the comment. The comment can be used appropriately to indicate uh, or to tell us uh, what is a function of each of the different sections. You can see, so you are not confused. This one says this section is for the word is a wrapper. It says ID wrapper. So wherever a section that has ID wrapper, this defines the wrapper that wraps this particular um, one page website accordingly. That is that. So of course you leave all those ones as default. I uh, leave all these ones as default. The ones I want to call your attention to is number one. Um, you have the header. This is now in between the header. You can see you have the header uh, comment. Now you can have the header header tag started here. You can see the start starting of the start tag of the header, and this is the end tag of the header. Of course, you notice it's aligned. Now you have my header, and within your head, you now have what? This is your what? Your header being defined. It says that what? The class of my header is not just a text, it's what is a logo. I want to what? As the class as a logo. And it is href, meaning that what? These legacies that you have here. Now, let me show you these legacies. You know, this, this one is different from the one you have as a title. This one, the legacies here. And let me even put something. Let me just put like this bins so that you can see it clearly and not be confused. You now I have this like this bins. I save this. Let me go back to my site so that you can see the difference clearly. Let me reload my site. I want to go. now you can see that the difference between the uh, the title and the word and the header. Is what that what the title shows the title of the page of the web page from the uh, web page tab and the web uh, browser tab, which is like this. But this one is what is my header here, which is which I have defined here already. That is my header is what like this best. Of course, you can now say that the header, which is here, you have another a tag that is embedded within the header. Meaning that what I told you, a tag is what from what we saw on wa 3 school, a tag is what is for hyperlink. Now, let me go back to the site. If you come here, you can see once I put my cursor on this, what do you notice? You can see it's telling me that what is bringing out something. If I click on this now, it's supposed to take me somewhere else. You can see once your cursor turns a from the arrow or from whichever default uh, icon you're using to hand, to hand to a hand symbol, you know that this is hyperlink. But of course, apart from that, if you if you over, if you bring your cursor upon that particular element that is hyperlinked, it will show you, you know, on the web page, it will show the link where is routing you to. But of course, you know, for this particular page, I just routed it back to the same uh, place that is index.htm. So if we click on it, it just returns back to this page. It's just here. You, know, you can see it's loading. It's loading, but it's still returning us back to this page. It just to show us, uh, because our intention is that we don't want to route anything from this page outside this page. We want to keep everything within this page because our intention is to keep it as a one page website. That is your header. So of course, this header, you're going to edit this, putting your information there. For now, let's leave our age. But you need to now see how the tag, the anchor tag, is being used. This is how the anchor tag is being used. You have A as your A tag, right? Written out here. Now you have your href. href means that what? Where are you routing me to? Where are you anchoring me to? You can see href equals to, you have the, um, the, the um, double quote, Within the double code, you now have the website. Let's say, for example, I want this to anchor to FIFA.com. This is where you are going to put www.fifa.com. 
Of course, once we have this, if we click on this, let me save this for example. If you click on this and I reload my website, meaning that what? This anchor tag takes me to what? To FIFA.com. Let me click on it for you. You can see it's routing me to FIFA.com, but it's looking for FIFA.com within that particular place, but it's not safe. So this is where it's routing me to. You understand now? So let's get back here. I don't have anything FIFA.com, so let me undo, undo what I have here. Undo, undo there, and then save it as it is. Yes. So this is what we have here. That is the H, the header, and with our A, our anchor tag, which is uh, embedded within the header. Of course, we also have the division, the div tag, which is telling us that the particular division, now let's look at it. You can see this particular division here is what is defined here already, which is the logo division. You can see this one is what is the logo division. And you can see it's starting up here, the div, the class is logo. Is here. So meaning that what anything I want to do, once I mention logo, is logo class, everything is within this place. So this place, this particular class is the logo. You can see uh, what we said earlier that the div does what? It defines the different section on a particular HTML document, HTML file. So this is divided, this is HTML, bam. Let's go to the next one. Of course, you now have the banner. This is the banner. Now let's check where is our banner. This is our banner. You can see this is our banner section, which is already defined here. Of course, I'm just checking through this, but where you now need to edit at this. Now this asks, welcome to Legedis, the span home of this. Of course, you can look up of this. Now, for some of you that are confused, some of you are confused that okay, how do I know which particular element or which particular text to edit from what I have? Of course. You can see this is welcome to Legedis. If you go to your code, you can see welcome to Legedis. You know what to look at for and which one to edit. Another way to do that is that for some of you, you can also right click on the particular element that you want to edit. If you don't know, right click on it and you click on what inspect. You can inspect it. Inspecting it means that what your browser does what. It can take you to the different sections that I, you can see. Once I say inspect, it brought me to what to this particular say welcome to legacy. So once I see the welcome to legacy, I see this. Oh, of course, I can go to my code and that oh, it's welcome to legacy. But I don't think you need to go to that long distance. Uh, this is a very simple website. It's just one page. Whatever you are editing is clear. And of course, you can also do something. You can also control find. You can control find on your HTML file and say let's say you want to do. Welcome. You are looking for welcome to to legacy. This as a case maybe if I do welcome to, of course, it takes you to where you have welcome to accordingly, and you see where to edit. So basically, what I want you to do is to look at the the editable texts that are here. Look at the editable texts that are here. Welcome to legacy. This now edit it to what customize it to your own particular brand. You can see that the 